So what we'll have here is, not often I get excited about stuff, but this, this little thing is a game changer. It's the Flextail Max Sub Pump. Max Sub Pump, and as the title says, it's basically for inflating um, paddle boards, which I have, as you know. Um, inflatable kayaks, which I'm thinking about getting for the summer, because it looked a lot of fun. Um, you can also inflate your air mat, camping mat, up to 6 PSI. You can do kite surf, kites, whatever they are. <laughs> I'm not into kite surf. But um, yeah, this is mint. This does up to 15, it does up to 20 PSI. Um, you can set it to whichever one you want. Obviously for, for the sup, it's 15, isn't it? Maximum 15, they recommend. So you get a charging port there. Comes with, comes with a car charger, which you plug in here. So if you're in a car, which you normally are, charge it up like that. And there's a type C charger as well. So that just plugs into your normal USB socket. Charges up pretty quick, it was. It didn't take long to charge it up. It might have already had some charging. I don't know. I'll have to work that one out. But anyway, they reckon it can charge the pump there, uh, the sub, about 8 or 11 times. This is an anti on off switch, right? So you've got off and on. That's so you don't accidentally switch it on in the car or in your travel. Right, so when you do switch it on, you get this display here. That's set at 14.5 PSI there now. This bars here is fully charged. That's your battery indicator. That's on sup at the moment. Let's see if I can do this right. That's on kite surf, so it's set at 5.9 PSI. That's for your mat. Minimum three. You increase it up to whatever you need. I don't think you need I don't think you need five or six for an air mat, do you? Maybe it's two, I don't know, I'll have to look at the manufacturer's book. But we're interested in the paddle board. So that's it set at 15 there. <coughs> Pretty noisy like. But these are the inflate and deflate ports. So you've got the inflate there, and that's the deflate one. You get this. Flexible hose with all these fittings on for your mats. So this will be like for your air mat. I think the one that's actually on is the one for my paddleboard. That one, it's a right funny looking contraption. So you've got all kinds of different nozzles there. Surely that, that fits everything. So that's stiff, but I think that's what you want, isn't it? So to inflate it. You simply screw it on. You screw it on there. It comes with a manual so you can, you know, you can work out all these settings. But basically, you set it for 15, set it away and it won't over inflate. That's what they claim, it won't go any higher than 15, so you can't over inflate it. So we want actually Drop it down at about 14, I think. I'm not sure how you lock it in. Oh, that must be it. Just 14. So once you put it on, I mean, I'm going to blow the board up now. We'll see how long it takes. It normally takes about 20 minutes to blow it up. It's a right effort. By the time you blow your blooming paddle board up, you're too exhausted to do anything. So you put it on, fasten it on. <coughs> there you go. It's loud though. But, you know. Be outside, won't you? Put a little handle on the back for carrying it. It's light. It's a nice light. You know, it's aerodynamic, small enough to put away in a little bag. Yeah, good. So we'll now go and proceed to my kitchen because it's freezing cold outside and snowing. And we'll see how long it takes to blow the board up and then deflate the board. So it's the same um, adapter as that, that and uh, that's what came with the, the board, which I'm surprised about, but there you go. 
Yeah, it's got on 14 psi for this paddle board, so we'll set it away. <gasps> And that's it. Cuts off at 14. Result ready. Take this off. Always remember to have the pressure valve down. <laughs> that was my fault. Put the valve up. And then you're off. I took. Hold on. I took. Um, stop it. Say it took about 9 minutes 30 to get up to uh, 14 psi. Oh, I'll just put a little, a little clip of what it's like to pump it up manually. But that's good. I'm just gonna deflate it now, after all that. Nine minutes, just under 10 minutes then to inflate it to 15 if you want. Rather than 20 minutes of hard up and down graft. Deflate it. You take this one off there, and you put it on that one. And what you're meant to do is like you let the pressure off. This is always good. I always like a bit of comedy with this, uh, so put a, a cloth over it and let the pressure off. Breath away, that. Put this on. I might be taking them off there, like. Intrusive. And then. The decompression. I'm not sure if it does it right itself, or you've got to set it to zero. I'll have to look into that. So just set it away to deflate it. It's took enough air out now that I can just roll that up. So yeah, it's very good. You get that. That and that to cart around with you. I've just got a little carry handle on the back. Knock it off and it's off. It doesn't come on so it doesn't run your battery down. Put it back on and see after all that what battery we've got. It's still got three bars. And you can use it for your mat. Yeah, anything you've seen it cut off automatically it took about three minutes to get the board deflated anyway so that's it the flex tail max sump sup pump really good feels lovely links in the description to kickstart a campaign so get in while the price is low I don't think it's expensive but what a job it saves you it saves you so much bother That'll save me so much trouble when the weather cheers up, of course.
and the other um, brushy bonus. This board packs away really well. And look, it sits in there. That's brilliant. That's gonna that's gonna change my whole life. <laughs> it's gonna make it a lot easier to go boarding anyway. Right.